Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In past couple of videos, we have discussed how to uh, fix uh, a spring boot white label error message, right? So as we discussed, when you uh, hit some URL, right, in a spring boot web application, right, RESTful web services, uh, if uh, any resources is not available with a particular URI, then a spring boot uh, uh, basically going to forward you uh, 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 default error message and that is called white label error message page right and with some default error message right uh, so if you get that kind of default error message the page then how we can fix so that we have learned in this project after that we have learned uh, how to replace uh, how to design our own custom error page instead of uh, sending white label error page to the uh, requester uh, or to the consumer of RESTful web services uh, how we can send the customized error message page and that we have seen in this uh, video right so when a user is trying to basically access some resources uh, RESTful resources with particular URI and any resource is not available uh, with that uh, particular URI than uh, this RESTful web RESTful uh, resource will be invoked and uh, this will be response to the client this response will be sent to the client requested resource is not available so in this case just we are sending a simple uh, text message right o o simple stream but some uh, in some scenario uh, actually consumer of this RESTful web services is expecting some kind of JSON error message, some more descriptive error message with some HTTP code, some error message and all, right? So how we can design those kind of uh, customized error page, right? So to make this demo, I have already created uh, a project in this workspace with uh, a name, a Spring Boot white label error page replaced with json response right and here i have created few classes so first of all we have a bootstrap class and you are very much familiar with this class so this is the spring bootstrap class basically our spring boot application starts running from this application from this class right that's all about this and uh, at rate a spring boot application included a lot of annotations so if you put cursor over here then you can see that includes uh, implicitly at rate at, at rate a spring boot configuration at rate enable auto configuration at rate component scan and all right now i have created a my, my own uh, controller uh, rest food controller and there i have written a simple uh, rest pool resource uh, hello right and that is just returning a hello world message on the uh, ui when you try to uh, invoke uh, uh, uri with slash welcome but uh, if you try to invoke any resource with slash like uh, xyz or some uh, uri which, uh, through some uri for that uh, resource does not exist uh, in restful controller then uh, we want to send some customized message right we want to send some message in the json format and to achieve that we have i have created a controller here so here you can see i have defined a, a path which is which is assigned as a slash error and i have defined a simple a variable debug and value for this variable is coming from our uh, application dot properties so just simply i have assigned debug equal to true and false you can assign and that value will be uh, that will be that value will be injected over here by the spring itself and uh, i want to auto wire a class is called error attributes right and this imports happens from uh, a spring r a spring art a spring framework dot boot dot auto configure web dot error attribute so it's a it's a basically interface right so uh, just we have declared a type of interface and uh, Spring will try to find its implementer at runtime and that will inject. That's why I have used at the rate auto wire. And just you have will have to declare. You don't need to think about this implementation at all. How Spring is going to inject. So that's the job of uh, Spring uh, itself. So once you declare a variable, uh, 
uh, and that variable may be kind of class variable or interface where in, uh, interface type so just you will have to declare and annotate at at rate auto wire so this will be auto wire at the runtime for the spring right now i have defined a uh, api and uh, just resource uh, uh, restful resource method is called error a response of this uh, uh, api is json uh, error json error json is a simple model class there i have declared some private value status error message timestamp trace and all and i have declared a constructor right so here you can see uh, so this constructor takes two parameters first is the status and second is the map itself which takes the key value pairs key is the string and value is the energy object and here this status uh, this status which is coming from the client right uh, status has to send by the user of this constructor right so this status i'm going to assign in this instance variable and rest of the instance variable i'm assigning just i'm extracting value from this map and putting into this right and i have a corresponding getter method as well for every instance variable so it's pretty straightforward now come back over here so basically here we have a api a restful api is called error and just i'm i am passing two uh, parameter http server request and http server response right and here just i am creating an instance of this error json and here i am passing response dot get status which is a value of integer 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 type so here uh, here i have given the java doc Ap appropriate http response code like 404 or 500 is automatically set by the spring here we we just define the response body right so here that depends on the container what type of http error is going to set that depends on the subnet container and second parameter i'm passing get attribute get error attribute which is a local method itself and there we are passing the http server request object and debug right which is a type of boolean which we have declared as a instance variable and that value is coming from the properties file right so now here we are passing the http server request object and and include a stack trace value right so whether you want to uh, use the uh, put the value for the debug as true or false if you put the true then this will start in the debug mode now we have created an object of request attributes uh, and we have used a constructor which takes a http server request as an argument and here uh, we have declared error attributes right so we are using error attributes to call its method is called get error attributes which takes first parameter as the as an object of request attribute and second is the boolean value which is just debug value for the debug we are passing if you look into this class there is two method if you don't want to if you don't want to pass this boolean value for the debug mode then simply you can use this one in that case return would be the throwable in this case return is the an map a map right and uh, this is basically returning return type of this guy is map itself and that's why we have given return type of this method is map so this map will be return over here and uh, return type of response dot get a status is integer itself so this value we are passing to the this constructor right and this and uh, value we are the status value we are putting into the, this instance variable and uh, this instance variable values we are just extracting from this map and putting into over here right so this is pretty straightforward right and uh, so let's run this project so i'm going to run this project from a bootstrap class so let's run it so if you look into the application dot properties then debug value we have given true so see debug everything is coming in debug so if you give the debug then info also coming under that now our uh, serve uh, our container has started right and uh, here i am trying to access like http colon slash slash localhost and port number we have a uh, 8080 if i try to access this url then there is no restful api which is mad with the slash right so that's why we are getting this error 
customize error right which, which just we have defined right uh, earlier we were getting the white label error message right now what I'll do I'll try to access the existing uh, API right like a slash welcome right so if you try to access with slash welcome then we'll get we are getting the hello world if you try to access like uh, about then we are getting again an error because there is no restful api which is mapped with this slash about uri and that's why in that case we are getting the json as response right and that's that's we wanted over here right and uh, this will also automatically convert into the JSON itself by Spring Boot itself, right? So uh, a jar which is responsible to convert this Java object into JSON that is already present in that present in the R class path, and that's the magic of uh, Spring Boot. A Spring Boot automatically uh, takes the help of jar which who is con uh, basically responsible to convert this Java object into JSON and JSON into Java object. If you send some uh, value, I mean. Uh, model value from the uh, UI then automatically that's converted into the Java object so and if you send some Java object to the UI then that Java object automatically gets converted into the corresponding JSON and that JSON value we are getting over here instead of getting the default error page so I hope you enjoyed learning this video this code I am going to put on the github and github location uh, you will get in that video description itself if you have any queries or any question then please do post below the video and I request you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and thanks for watching this video.